chicken, bacon, and ranch medley. I don't even know what to call it. I'm gonna serve it over rice. And for those of you who um, follow us, have subscribed and liked our page, um, we just hit 300,000. So thank you so much. Amazing, amazing. Um, so I got everything all prepped here. I'm gonna show you guys. I got everything prepped, um, ready to go. I have onions and I have, I'm gonna be doing bacon first. I have my chicken that I have to slice up, my green peppers, and then I'm also gonna add um, cream cheese and, um, and whipping cream. I'm gonna make it kind of a, hello everybody, hello. I'm gonna make it kind of like a, a creamy chicken bacon ranch. So um, yes, 300, yay! Um, hello everybody, hello. So I'm gonna be making a chicken bacon and ranch medley and I know that I told you that we we're gonna be making stroganoff with homemade egg noodles, but I really wanted to make this today. I plan on being on tomorrow to do, make the stroganoff, but I was so excited about this. And I thought I'm gonna go on with everybody. It's quiet and make it with you guys. Um, I'm really trying to change the way I cook for our family. I'm trying to not have so many cheeses and then do like, like separate meals where you have your protein, your veggie, and maybe a salad or starch. So my thinking, I'm trying to add more veggies and stuff. So I have beautiful peppers and I just stuck my finger in cream cheese. Um, and so for the spices I have is, it's actually quite a bit of spices, but some of them I'm gonna add to when I cook the bacon and stuff and the onions and peppers. And then some's gonna be like after. So I have, um, and I'm gonna put all this in the comments. So when I get done, I'm gonna stick the whole recipe in the comments for you. Um, so it's minced onion, parsley, fresh garlic. I have garlic powder and onion powder, a white pepper. I like to use white pepper a lot when I do chicken dishes. When I do more like beef and pork, I like to add the black pepper because black pepper is a little stronger where white pepper is more mild. And when I make more of my chicken dishes, I don't want it to be so peppery, but I still want that like, excuse me, a little bit of spice in there. And then um, my Himalaya salt. And then I have four tablespoons of um, the Hidden Valley Ranch, uh, <laughs> haven't had coffee today. Um, I can't talk when I don't have coffee, but I have tea this morning or this afternoon tea. So this is that ranch stuff. You can get it in the packets. Um, you know, you can actually get it in a bottle, like a whole container and it's way cheaper. So yeah, so I have my bacon all ready to go. My chicken's behind me. I have the cream cheese. And so now we're going to start getting this meal together. I told my husband because he... It's so cold that they can't work. And I said, well, honey, um, if you're gonna be in here, like you can't be like talking on the phone. He's like, well, then I'm not gonna stay in if I can't talk on the phone. I said, no, I want you to stay in. But if you're constantly like, cause he's like his family kind of loud. <laughs> and, um, but I guess I'm loud. So is Gideon. I guess we're all loud. Thank you so much. Chanel says she loves my channel. Thank you so much. And just to let you know, so next week is my deadline to turn in the cookbook. I, we are officially done with the recipes. I just have to edit Brennan's chapter and Noah's chapter. I have to add more to the conclusion and then the acknowledgements at the end. And then we're gonna add a little section of Mama Bell tips, how I do things, how I prep for things. And a lot of you guys already know how I prep for things because you see it. You know, I get everything all ready to go. Nothing like watching somebody having to run to the counter, go grab this, go grab this. So I just put, every, my husband's like, well, why are you prepping ahead of time? I said, well, I'm not making the meal right now, but I want to get it here so that I don't have to keep moving. He goes, well, don't you want to like really have them see the real Heather? Well, this is the real Heather. Every time I make a meal, I get it all ready and I plan it all out because I don't want to be walking downstairs, upstairs, to this, to this, to this. So this is the real Heather. I'm an organizer. Can you borrow my fireplace? It is so nice. It's been going nonstop for three days, our fireplace. My Haley's not feeling very good, so I have, um, you can't see it, but I have her glass ready to go. Um, she has kind of a throat issue. She's just not feeling good. And so she's on her way over. And so I have, um, I've been drinking lots of tea lately. I've been trying to not drink as much coffee. So in my tea, I have a cinnamon stick. I have honey, um, lemon wedge, and honey, lemon wedge. I also have a um, an echinacea tea bag. And then I got these wonderful teas from, General Mills sent a box of a new cereal and there was a Stanley cup and these beautiful teas. And I thought these are, they're the cutest things ever. And I thought, oh my goodness, I love these teas, they're amazing. So I went to go look at them online. They're like $30 for 16 and I'm like, hmm, 
guess I'm gonna have to save for the ones they gave me because I'm paying $30 for tea. Um, but they're so amazing. So I have been trying to drink lots of tea and drinking my cold busters because people are kind of not feeling too good. Um, my kids, we had, so everybody around us had a cold day. It was seven below. Um, I don't know if I posted the video on, on um, YouTube yet, but I did the whole hair challenge where your hair stood up. Everybody around us was closed, but not my kids. I guess they needed one more negative degree to not have to go to school. <laughs> like That doesn't make no sense. Um, Gideon right now is, is getting ready. He, he leaves in the morning, sadly. I'm very, it went so fast. The holidays went so fast. Um, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and so uh, this Saturday, I actually mentioned Haley uh, bridal showers. So this Saturday, we're going to do our very first um, her, her friends are coming over. We're going to do our very first checking out the bridal shops. And I think I might do a mini vlog. Um, but I don't want to like vlog the dresses she's in because like, um, her fiance watches our videos. And even though it might not be the dress she picks, like I'll say, Hey, do you want that? You like the dress? And she says, no, but still, I don't want, I want like the, to be the surprise. Even if it's not the dress she's wearing, I don't want to put on a video of her wearing any dresses. Does that make sense? Like I want it to be I want it to be just like a surprise for David. So I'll probably do like a vlog of us going into the store, kind of skimming the dresses. Maybe if the girls try on some bridesmaids dresses, I'll video that. But I'm not going to actually like add parts to where she's actually in the dresses because I just want that to be a sweet. Um, I want David to see her first before anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just I just feel like that he, he at least deserves that. He doesn't want to see what she's been trying on online. So I'm just going to make sure that I keep that. Um, just, yeah, like you said, just special with her and just keep it, you know, just kind of private, whatever. So, okay. So we're going to get going. I brought up my huge cast iron pan. I'm going to turn you guys a little bit here. I brought up my huge cast iron pan. I actually like, so I had got my iPad out to go live with you guys. And I was like, here, like it was like right on me. I'm like, woo! it didn't let you like change it. So, so I was like, it's like Heather, Heather in the camera. So today is my very first day working out. I rode my bike, I lifted weights, I did abs and the sauna. I feel great. And I turned on my Christian music and I was like belting it upstairs. I was just like praising Jesus. It was, oh, I feel so good. So if I'm a motor mouth, it's because I feel so good. So I'm just gonna cut this bacon. So I have two pounds of bacon and I'm gonna do the bacon in the pan first. It is a little <laughs> frozen because I actually thought of this meal when I was in the sauna. I was like, hmm, bacon ranch with peppers? and chicken over rice, that sounds great. So last minute, I told you I'm trying, to, I'm trying to cook differently. I'm trying to think of different recipes and not have so much, you know, cheese and just, I don't know. And I made a wonderful beef wellington this week. I actually videoed that, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so you guys will see that. I made a beautiful chicken and dumplings, that was so good. But I made so many beef, so much beef wellington, but I did it different. So a normal beef wellington, you actually have like, I think like a flank steak and you um, brown it on each side, you keep the inside raw. And then you do like a, you mix like mushrooms and like different kind of spices and you, you put that into your pastry. And then once the pastry, you know, you, you rub, roll your pastry out, you put that on the pastry, you put your steak on it, and then you roll the steak in that pastry, and then you put it in the oven. You can fry it if you want, but I believe you bake it. And so I did more, when me and my husband had went to Green Bay, um, I actually had one, and I did, uh, I didn't do it. They did more of like a, like a minced beef, so they did like a burger with like sweet potatoes and mushrooms, and so that's what I did. I did the burger. Except I should have um, cooked my carrots ahead of time because you don't want to cook the meat. You want it to make it like meatballs, like you add all your mix to it. And then you put it raw into the shell. So as the shell's cooking, so is the meat. But I did cook it a little bit because my carrots, I was worried about my carrots not being all the way cooked. And But it turned out absolutely amazing. And you know how I know it turned out amazing? Because Robert took it to lunch two days in a row. He's like, Mom, can I take one of those to lunch? Because for him and my future son-in-law, David, I actually went on Amazon because when I get my kids presents, like I want to make sure it's something they're going to use. I don't want to get something that it's just going to be like thrown on the ground or like I waste my money on. And so I went on Amazon and I was trying to f figure out something to do that would be like super like useful. And so Amazon, if you have anybody who works in construction or they um, work outside all the time or in the cold, it was a lunchbox that you can use as a warmer or you can plug it in and it's a microwave. 
And so Robert and, and um, uh, David both do construction. They work outside. So on their break, they'll go to their trucks and eat. Um, and so they love it. I guess Robert's used it and David's used it. So it comes with a cord. I'm making chicken bacon ranch. Yes. Over, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, um, I want to make sure that I'm like, uh, telling you what's going on at the same time instead of like, you know, going through it over and over and over. So yeah, so it's a bacon, it's a bacon ranch, something medley <laughs> over rice. So it's basically like, a, um, I had did a crock pot meal where it was, uh, a bacon ranch, a chicken bacon ranch pasta. It's, it's so if you guys, I don't know if you follow me on any other platforms, but you need to scroll and find like our crock pot meals. And I'll tell you, I'm actually going to make them again. I made the best two meals and even Gideon said they're amazing. So the Tuscan chicken. So if you're looking for a crock pot meal that you can put together, I mean, it takes a little bit of work, but you want to put together and just like on a cold day or in the winter, the crock pot chicken bacon ranch. And I thought of it all myself. I just like, just like now I'm like, okay, what can I put in this? It was absolutely amazing. Like amazing. I, like I can't, I mean, there's some recipes I make. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. But then there's some I make and I'm like, oh man, oh man. And then the Tuscan chicken, <laughs> you use sun-dried tomatoes and you use the oil in there to cook the chicken first, to put in the crock pot. You guys, even Gideon was like, oh my goodness. Hello everybody, how are you? Thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh-oh, it looks like I got some, uh, you're already having to delete comments? <laughs> Woo! Hello, everybody. So, Jay, is it Jay? So, I have a treat for you. So, tomorrow, I was going to do it today, but I really want to come on live with you guys. Um, I've seen a lot of people have seen our blizzard, when we were in a blizzard, how we did, like, the whole day. And it was so funny, because my husband's like, come over to the shop. Hey, come with me. And I'm like... Do you want me to? He's like, yeah, let's like explain to him things in my shop. And so I have a video I have to post. Um, he had me go through all of his equipment, his toys. And so that's a video that I have to put together still. But um, it, it was just a really fun day. And it was neat because like all my kids are like, I'm like, do you guys care? They're like, no, we don't care. And so it was just cool to kind of be able to share with you guys like how we relax and what we do to get ready for the snowstorms. And my husband was excited to be in it. So it was, it was really cool. So anyway, so like I was saying, Jay... So I was going to do that today, but I really wanted to go live with you guys because I had the opportunity today. I wanted to share with you this recipe that I just thought of about, you know, an hour ago. And um, so tomorrow I'm going to take a tour. Um, it's going to be a vlog though, not a live, because um, for some reason over at the shop, we have like, even though we have, we have Wi-Fi, there's no service over there. And then the barns have a metal roof. And so you don't really get service in there because of it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a vlog tomorrow. I'm going to introduce you to all our pets. I'm going to go over to the barn and show you the chickens and how things work and was calling, um, give you a little history on, um, just how, uh, how we became our farm. Okay. So this one, so I have to make sure that I am keeping these. Okay. So that's bacon over there. This is my veggie one. I have two. I have two of these. I have one for veggies and one for my chicken and my meat. Um, and so I'm going to share with you guys just a little bit about how our farm started. Just give you a little history on how we became such a big. And here's my bowl. You know, Rachel Ray. I told you guys this last time has a garbage bowl. It's like forty dollars. Well, mine was like three because it came in a set of like seven for like twenty bucks. Um, and so I'm going to share with you guys just how we became so big, like, because when we started out with our, and I don't want to, I don't want to like, like, you know, ruin the surprise. And so, I mean, I can share a little bit with you while we're here trying to prep dinner. Um, but we actually only started with about 25 chickens. We also used to raise, um, turkeys. And let me tell you something. Turkeys are the funniest, funniest animals. They're hilarious to have but they're not smart and they smell. And so my husband decided when we raised our turkeys that he was going to put the fence in my backyard. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's, that's cool. I like, you know, drinking my coffee, looking at the animals. That's why we cut down some trees so I can see the chickens when I get up in the morning. And um, well, that one year that we did turkeys, um, it was a really, really wet summer, like really wet summer, like really wet. It just rained and rained and rained. So. When you have animals in your yard, 
and it rains a lot and it gets mucky and muddy and you mix turkey poop with mud. Um, the house stunk because it was over here by the kitchen. Whoa, these are, these are strong. The house stunk. They kept walking over the fence and so I would go out and um, at the time my, my niece and nephew lived by us. I would go out and the kids would be yelling because the turkeys were chasing them. It was absolutely, um, I made your bacon cheeseburger soup. Is it not amazing? It's amazing. And it's so easy to do. I keep thinking this is like onion peel. Thank you, Beatrice. She said, hello, Mama Bell. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. Okay, so you know, when we were on here last, I told you that I figured out how to do the long, the long, um, cutting the onions long because I've been watching a lot of cooking videos and I've been watching their techniques and I am now obsessed with doing long thin onions instead of the short choppy onions. I'm just, I'm actually looking for recipes just so I can cut onions <laughs> and I'm serious. I'm actually serious. Um, so yeah, we have uh, me and my husband. Um, so yeah, so that's my turkey. I know I, I, I want, I have so many things to say to you guys. I start to just talk. So yeah, we tried raising turkeys and um, they just are not smart and they smell so bad, but they're so funny. We also tried raising um, geese and they are mean. We actually couldn't keep raising geese because for some reason um, they kept attacking Ian. Like Giddy would walk to the barn and they'd run at him. And so we had to give them away. We just couldn't we couldn't do the geese and, and the geese are super cool. We thought it'd be cool to like sell um, duck eggs, but they, they're just so mean. And I'm sure there's nice ones too, but the ones we had were mean. Thank you so much. So um, like I said, the cookbook, the cookbook is um, going to be finished next week. And I believe that the pre-sales are going to start in March. And so I've been talking to my husband, um, moving past cookbook, and we are trying to, oh, whoo. Mm. Okay, let's get those onions over there. Woo wee. I even have glasses on. I don't know about you guys, but I noticed, um, you know, we are all, <laughs> I'm gonna start this. Let's get that like craziness of the, um, oh. Oh, wow, that's super strong. I'm gonna get the bacon and the onions going. Let me turn you guys. You don't break as many cells, so it's, oh, okay. Hoo wee, crazy. Okay, we're gonna, so I'm gonna do the bacon, the onions and the peppers first. And then we're gonna slice in the chicken because I want my bacon to be kind of crispy. And I did put a little bit of butter in it because I do want a lot of, a little more fat in here. So, all right, we'll get that going. Now we're gonna get the peppers done. French fried onion topping. Yeah, I, I'm trying so hard to use like more natural products. So this pepper got a little close to the back of the fridge, but we're still gonna use it. So my Isabella, I have learned so many cooking techniques from my girls. And um, she was the one that showed me how to like cut out the center. And then basically all your seeds are like coming out. So then when you slice it, all right. So our refrigerator, when you put things to the back, <laughs> they tend to get a little frozen. So I'm just gonna make these also thin. I mean, I have to tell you, I, I really, I use the same veggies all the time and I've really been neglecting peppers and mushrooms and I used to cook with them all the time. And so I just, I'm so glad that I just took the plunge and, and the last grocery haul we did was so refreshing because it was actually like some decent stuff. You know, it wasn't uh, a bunch of garbage and I think we're doing okay. I mean, me and my husband are still been snacking a little bit, which I need really need to get a handle on that. But um, we got it though. Today was my first day of working out. And so I am on a mission to just continue this because we have so much going on. And as you know, my daughter's getting married this summer. And so I really want to get in shape for that. 
and we are planning Isabella's, um, we were actually, we got a couple things we're gonna be doing this year. So we're going to a national farm, farm expo, I guess, really, really soon. My husband's like, hey, so do you wanna go with me to a farm expo? And I'm like, absolutely I do, absolutely I do. So we're gonna um, get Joshy, we're gonna take him and treat him. So it's just gonna be the three of us and we're gonna drive down and go to this farm expo. I don't know exactly where it is, I have to get the details. And then we are going to be, um, for Izzy's senior trip, me and my husband, and we're gonna actually fly Gideon over. She said that was okay. And cause we were gonna go surprise Gideon for his birthday because this will be the first time ever in his whole life that he didn't have his birthday with us. And so we are gonna surprise him and we are gonna go fly and see him. And then I was talking to Luke and I said, well, you know, Izzy would really like to go to Disney World and actually stay on premises. And then, um, you know, just kind of ride rides for the weekend. He goes, I'll do that. I said, really? Because we didn't think you would. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. And so he's like, well, why don't you see if she minds if Gideon comes, and then that way we can see Gideon too for his birthday. So it looks like we're going to be doing like a long weekend. Sorry about that. Those onions are like making my nose run. And so anyway, we're going to be doing like a weekend with Izzy, and she said Gideon could tag along. And so that way we can see him for his birthday and do her senior trip. So we'll be doing that. That'll be fun. I'm, I'm actually going to be booking that today. I got a really good deal. So I guess right now, because Disney isn't busy this time of year, it's like 40% off stuff. So I got, um, I found a room with, with, with hopper tickets really cheap, like the same price as if you were just to go in town and book a hotel. So I'm super excited about that. And then, um, for spring break, we are going to be going to see Gideon and uh, get a place on the water and go see him for the week. So that's pretty exciting. And then um, in April, we're supposed to go to uh, the Cheer Choice Awards in um, Las Vegas. And so I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I'm kind of, I want to go. It's going to be like a girl's trip. But, um, but then again, I'm not sure. I don't know yet. Still kind of thinking on that one. So um, all you got to do is go on Disney and it's right there. So you don't have to plug anything in. It, it starts and it goes until the, I think you have to, um, you have to actually go. So you have to plan the trip. And I think it ends like the 20, 26th or 7th of February. So you have to, you have to go actually to the parks between now and February 27th or 28th. All right, I'll show you guys how it looks. It smells super yummy. So I'm just gonna cook at these until the veggies are kind of soft. And when they start to cook better, then I'm gonna add in the chicken to it. We're gonna slice up the chicken really thin. I'm gonna do strips. And then when I had made my chicken and dumplings, I actually froze, it's so cold outside that I don't need to put things in my freezer. And so I took my um, broth that I had made. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to cook my rice in the broth. So I kept, that looks amazing, you guys. It almost looks like a fajita mix. Okay, and so we're gonna add, it's two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. And then this is two tablespoons of minced onions. So I do use onions and minced onions because minced onions have been dehydrated, so they have a lot more flavor. And then two, ta ta blah, 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 two tablespoons of parsley. And I do have some more seasonings, but I'm gonna wait until we get the, the chicken in here. All right, mm, this smells great. I love my, oh my goodness, flyaway bacon. Haley cleaned my stove for me this week and she got me like, when I started cooking, because the first meal I made was the um, the chicken and dumplings and she's like, you better not get that, kick that stove dirty. So she's watching me cook, like literally watching me cook. I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, you see my dog over there, she's playing. What's up, Rosie Porgy? Oh, Rosie Porgy. Oh, Rosie Porgy. She's so funny. That's Gideon's dog, but she, she don't go many places. She likes to stay inside and be warm. She kind of a house dog. I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, she's a, she's a, a, a black lab that's a house dog. All right, that looks good. Let's get the, I got, I think I'm gonna do one more pepper. Okay, that looks absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so yeah, I put everything in these dishes because I just, uh, see that has a bummer, what a bummer. Okay, I think I'm gonna do red because I think I'd like more color in it. 
because the chicken's gonna have no color. All right, so we're gonna do one more here. So I got my rice out, and I've actually been using a lot of jasmine rice. I really like jasmine rice a lot. It does take a little longer to cook, you know, to make it than like a minute rice, but make sure you have kitchen shears. Oh, I use mine all the time. Okay, so this one is kind of weird, so I do have to take some seeds out of it. Yeah, she is not thrilled with the cold. Even in the summer, my dog Rose wants to be inside. It's just the weirdest thing ever. Show her off we love dogs. Okay, well, she's done now. She had her two seconds of playing. Say hi, Rose Pussy. Yeah. She was playing for two seconds, and now she's like, done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, let's get this pepper going here. <laughs> Show her off. Sorry, I should have done it when she was like, you know, playing with her. She had her tail up in the air and her feet and she was rubbing on the, it was super cute. So I am making a chicken, bacon, and ranch medley. I don't know what to call it. If I think of a better name, I will change it. Um, so, so far I have added to my pan uh, two pounds of bacon that I cut. Um, two uh, yellow, I do the sweet onions. Um, I, I just cut them super thin. I don't know if you call that Jillian. And then I have an orange pepper, a yellow pepper, and two red peppers. I added the two tablespoons of garlic. I added the two tablespoons of parsley and the two tablespoons of minced onion. So I'm going to let that cook. And once I get these done, we are going to cut, well, I guess me, you guys are going to watch me, but watch me, watch me whip, watch me nanny. So um, our birthdays, we have a lot of birthdays in the spring. And so David's birthday is next week. And I, I can't tell you what I ordered him because if he's watching, he'll know. But I already got his stuff done. I was thinking he's into like, he loves, he's a cowboy. He loves cowboy stuff. He got a hat for Christmas and boots for Christmas. He just like, he's just a cowboy. He's just my cowboy boy. I wish I lived in, in Wyoming for him because he's just my, my country boy. He likes country music. He just anything about being a cowboy he loves it. and he's loved it even since he was little i mean he just he would try and ride the dogs he would try and lasso the dogs when he was little um and so i got him like the coolest coolest thing so i'm out all set with him but january february march and then we have a little break in april is very very busy for us so um david's birthday is actually next week and then we have two week break then it's joshua's birthday then four days later you wanna go outside? Or go potty? Yeah? No. <laughs> she got up, looked at me, she's like, no. Um, so we have Joshi's birthday, then Gideon's birthday is four days later, and then not even a week later is Isabella's birthday. And then we have a month and a half break, and then it's my birthday, Brennan's birthday, we're within two weeks. And then Noah's birthday's two weeks after Brendan's, and then three weeks after that's Haley's. And then we have a couple months and then it's dad and Robert. And then we start all over again. And in between that is Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. And I have to tell you guys, oh my goodness. I wish I could tell you what I did for my kids for Valentine's Day, but I don't know who's watching here. I got the coolest things for Valentine's Day. Um, and I even thought of something else. I've already thought of what I'm gonna do for, for Easter for them. I'm gonna have to give them their Valentine presents early because I'll be gone for Valentine's Day because I'm gonna be at Ag, Ag Expo. So that's gonna be my husband's Valentine present is taken into an, an egg not an egg, a farm expo. Okay, this looks amazing. Smells so good, you guys. Okay. I love my cast iron pans. So I've already started with ideas for my holiday cookbook because they want to do a series of three cookbooks. And so I have already thought of, I've already been like thinking, thinking. Okay, so now we're going to bring over the chicken. I'm going to go to my chicken knife and let's get this out of the way. Here we go. <sighs> Whew. My nose ain't running no more. Hello, hello, how are you? So we actually looked at both of those. So we looked at the one in Tula, Tula, is it Tulare? I did look at the one in Tulare, California. I guess it's a really big one. That's like the world one. Sorry guys, my nose is still running. And then uh, there's another one in Kentucky we're gonna go to. Um, so a question, do you have a foolproof way to cooking rice? I tell you what, I have people all the time asking me 
about rice and I don't know what I do special. So I just, it's one-to-one. -one, so I do a one-to-one -one with the rice. Um, I cook it when, like when, the, when the, the water's boiling or I use chicken broth. I like to use chicken broth. So I do one-to-one. -one. So if there's four cups of chicken broth, I add four cups of rice. I always try to add a little bit more liquid to it. So then I stir it, I put the lid on it. Um, I let it simmer on low for about 10 minutes, take it off, stir it again, see if it's done. And if it is, I just do it with a fork and just let it, like, I don't know. To Larry, got it, to Larry. Oh, nice, nice. Um, is that in Louisville? I think my husband said something about Louisville. Is that right? Is it like soon, soon? Like three weeks soon? Because I'm pretty sure my husband said, he said Kentucky and I thought he said in Louisville. Is that right? Am I thinking that right? So I don't even like go by the package. I just, this is how I've always done my rice. I do go by the, yes? Well, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Me and my husband and Josh are gonna be there. Yes, that's the one I think. I mean, I have to double check with my husband, but I'm sure there's only two, right? California and Kentucky. I got shorts on. So I, so with the, with the jasmine rice, I follow the instructions, but with regular rice, I'm pretty sure next week, he just told me today, he's like, do you want to go to either Kentucky or California for a, an expo? And I said, I don't care, honey. Well, that's probably where I'm going then. Oh, if that's where it is. Holy cow, if you go, we got to meet. Ooh. Well, you'll have to message me. Tell me if you're going. Uh-oh, we got negative. Take care of it, sister. Take care of it. I think rice is kind of a thing where you, I mean, the instant rice, you can't really. We have um, three dogs. We had one that just passed away two months ago, three months ago. No, in April, she got hit. So sad. I still get upset when I think about her. I love her so much. And then, um, and then I had another one. So we actually had two dogs that passed away in the last year. Um, our one dog got hit and then our other dog had a stroke. She was my sweet little baby, Dixie. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is I wanna do the chicken into strips. So I'm just gonna cut it into thin strips and then slowly add it to my pan because I want it to cook fast. And um, so on Wednesdays, I usually do dinner a little earlier. I know it's only 2.30 because we have church and we have to be out the door by like 5.30, 6 o'clock. And my kids usually come in and they're just so hungry. So, and this is something that they can heat up. And then, okay, we don't need to fight you guys. Let's just all love one another. That's what my, my son, Robert, whenever we're arguing, he's like, let's just love one another. Okay, so I'm gonna cut them super thin. That looks great. And I'm gonna slowly add them to the pan here. Looks like I got some more puppies in here. Aw, holy cow, that's super exciting. Okay, well, look for me. Message me, okay? Message me over on Instagram. That's super cool. What? Okay, so I'm gonna cut these super thin. I have two bags of chicken, so it's gonna be about, um, I, think it's, I think they're three pound bags. So I got about six pounds of chicken in here. I've been trying to write all these new recipes down so when we do our next cookbook, um, I, there's just so much. I've been making so many new things. Hi, David. I've been making so many new things. Thanks for taking Haley and Josh in. That's, aw, well, um, if you could hit the go button on that. I got some tea ready for her to go so she can just relax on the couch. So my David took Josh in for me. And he took Haley to help her to go to the walk-in so she can see how she's, you know, things that she's doing. All right. So you're just going to cut it thin like this. 
Yeah, I was super excited to get into the gym today, you guys. Oh my goodness, and the, the sauna was amazing, absolutely amazing. I feel great, I have energy. What's the weather like out there, David? Did Haley get some antibiotics? Yeah. She did, okay. All right. So yeah, we're gonna, so Josh doesn't know that we're gonna take him to an to a, um, agriculture expo. And I guess it's really nice. Oh, everybody's saying hi to you, David. Who's um, Haley talking to? Oh, she's on the phone? Okay. Sound like another girl. Well, I'm gonna get in that gym because I have lots of trips. I, next time Gideon sees me at Disney World, I want it to be, I want, yeah, an Ag Expo. What? Um, I think like in three weeks. What? In Kentucky. Really? Yeah, he doesn't know though, so I'm gonna See surprise lots of, him. Lots of tractors. Yeah, there's lots of tractors. I think Grandma Dodie and Papa might come. Oh, they all said, "Hey, Cowboy David." <laughs> he said, "Hey, you got the oh, so you gotta hit the hit the button again until it turns red." Yeah, I got a fire going for Haley. Kept that going, and I got so um. Hello, hello, how are you? So, um, give you a little, you're a native Kentuckian? Well, I love, so when I went, I went to school in Florida, I was raised in the South, and I wanted to be a doctor, and I wanted to go to the University of Kentucky. But then we moved, and that didn't happen. And then I felt, met my husband, who I just absolutely love, and I was like, well, I can change my degree. I would love to be with him. Um, so the cookbook, I'll tell you a little bit about the cookbook. You guys, I'm super excited. I just can't hardly believe it. I was just thanking Jesus today. Like, thank you so much for this opportunity. I really do appreciate it. And just thanking him for all the good that, you know, he has done for our family. And so what it is, it's going to be not just a cookbook. It's going to be like a biography slash cookbook. So it's not going to have just recipes in it. It's going to talk a little bit about our family and how each of my kids came into our home. And um, just funny, funny things like... Things I remember when my kids were little, trying to get them to try different things. So um, it's going to have an introduction with the first meal I ever made my husband when we got married. And then it's going to start. So our cookbook's not going to be in the order that you would normally think. It's going to be the order of how our family came together. So I met my husband. We adopted David. Then we adopted Joshua. Uh, then we um, had Gideon. Then we adopted um, Izzy and then Haley and then Noah and then Robert. And then Brendan. So the the um, table of contents is going to follow that. And then each each of the kids, I'm gonna have a little introduction before you get to that rest that chapter. It's gonna be just talking a little bit about them, just some some memories that I have of my kids and how they came into our home. And then the whole chapter is going to be like Robert. Um, he loves cookies, so there's a whole chapter on cookies that's designated toward him. And so that's kind of how the whole cookbook's gonna go. And so, oh wow, sheesh. My moderator's really having to get busy here. Um, and so that's kind of how the whole cookbook's gonna lay out. I'm very excited. So, so basically my idea was um, to, uh, my hands are, all right, I'm gonna grab you guys with my two fingers here so I can wash my hands. So it's going to be like, um, you're gonna read a little bit. You're gonna cook a little bit, read a little bit, cook a little bit, read a little, cook a, cook a little bit. Gotta get all the chicken off my fingers. Um, so it's not gonna be like your ordinary cookbook. It's gonna be about our family and then the meals that we love, the meals that we cooked. You know, just different things like that. So, all right, I'm gonna stir this. It's just, it's, and I just feel like this is the cookbook that's going to just, it's gonna have it all. You know, it's not gonna be like other cookbooks. And even the ones that we produce after this, this is gonna be the one that's just gonna be so different. Um, the holiday cookbook's gonna be so fun. I have so much stuff I wanna share on that one. Just our traditions, the things we do, um, things that we make just during the holidays. I feel like this is not, this is not cutting it. So each one's gonna be a little unique and we're gonna tell stories so that the, all of them are gonna be similar to that where you can read a little bit, cook a little bit. And so I just want this first cookbook that I get, you know, even if you don't cook out of it, I want you to be able to read it and just like laugh and cry. And I'm telling you, 
so many things have been popping up since I've been doing this cookbook. I've been remembering just things that I never remembered before. Um, I would, I'll put like a something in there and I'll write something. I'll be like, oh yeah. And so I'll have to like jot something down on paper. But so many sweet memories from when my kids were little has popped up. And um, it's just, ugh, I've already cried. I've already laughed. I've shared some stuff with my kids. Some of them don't even know what their intro says. Like they have no idea. And it's just, oh. I'm just thankful. I just can't even tell you how thankful I am. Okay, so I got the chicken in there. I actually didn't use it all, so I'm going to say about maybe four pounds of chicken. So now we're going to sprinkle um, some Himalaya salt. This reminds me kind of a, uh, um, you could probably use this as fajitas. You know, if you don't want to put it over rice, you could get sour cream and salsa and um, guac and just get some shells or make shells, remember we were on here and I have that recipe on there. This is white pepper, a tablespoon of white pepper. So you know how to make homemade tortilla shells because I made them right in front of you guys. And my kids absolutely love them. And so uh, you could put them in here and make just fajitas or you could make you know, chicken tacos with this. I mean, I don't normally, this is kind of similar to how I make my, um, oh, that was um, white pepper, garlic powder, and salt and then this is onion powder okay and then I still have the um, Hidden Valley Ranch um, dry mix I'm gonna add that when I add my cream so once this gets cooking and the chickens all done we're gonna make the rice here in a second we're gonna add cream and cream cheese and I'm gonna make it kind of a creamy creamier type dish kind of similar to a stroganoff with like the creaminess and of course the spices are way different but I love stroganoff, oh my goodness. You can make stroganoff with real steak or you can make it with ground beef. I usually make it, well, it depends. Sometimes I've made it with steak, sometimes I've made it with real ground beef. That don't make no sense, with ground beef. Okay, all right, so we're gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna move you guys over here and I wanna show you this beautiful broth I made. Beautiful. Does anyone know if they sell this ranch dry mix in Canada? So um, I will show it to you. So you, you can get a no-name brand so here, this is the one, excuse me, this is the one that is sold at Walmart. And then this is the one that's the actual name brand. So if you want to screenshot that or screenshot this, I'm pretty sure this is really nice if you put it over potatoes. I thought about doing potatoes, but I thought, well, I've, I kind of want to do the rice. And Haley, I got your tea ready to go. You get Haley's tea here. I love my kettle. So I have a cinnamon stick in here. I have her echinacea tea. I have a probiotic tea, honey, and lemon. Okay. Haley, girl, I have tea for you. It's right here. And then you can lay on the couch. Okay. All right, so let's, let me show you this rice. So, or this, <laughs> smash the like button. Okay, and so look at this. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness, so it says it has, so this, this pan is nice because it tells me. So it says it is, um, eight cups. So I'm gonna heat it up and we're gonna make the rice. Has seasonings in it. So whenever you're cooking anything like chicken, it is so easy to make your own chicken broth. And I will actually leave that in the comments too. Um, so even if you're not doing like a whole chicken, you can still do chicken broth. So what you wanna do is you wanna fill a pot like half full and put all your chicken breast in there. And then you're gonna add um, any kind of spice you can think of, basil, thyme, oregano, rosemary. Right there, honey, it's really hot. Just lay in the living room. Do you already take your medicine? Yeah. Okay. Do you, what do you got in that? Coldness. Coldness for her throat, because her throat hurts. Um, so you just add um, the chicken, um, minced onion, parsley. You can add, you, so if you go to the store, they also make a fresh Italian seasoning blend. It's got like five different seasonings and it's fresh. You can throw that in your pot and you wanna cook it on low probably for, I don't know, like really low for two hours because you know you want your chicken breast to overcook. And so you can do the dried if you want. I always add garlic to mine. I always add minced onion to mine. Um, I usually sometimes will do salt and pepper. And so you just let that simmer on low, excuse me, with the chicken. And if you find your chicken's cooking too much, you can also take that out. But um, I did this chicken strips and it didn't overcook the chicken and it was amazing. And then I had extra chicken that I used for another dish. I think I made the buffalo chicken dip with it. And so I froze this because this is gold. 
This is like, to make your own stock is gold. And so I knew, I said, I told Izzy, I said, I know I'm gonna use this. Okay, let's stir our chicken dish here. So I got the broth heating up. Grab your tea. I gave you Willie Nelson. It actually wasn't that bad. Oh, okay. Did she say if your throat was really bad? Yeah. She, she said it was really bad. Did you, did you, t goodness dog, they almost knocked the tree down. Did you tell her it was like so fast? Like yeah. overnight? Yeah, I was just starting out of the ditch the morning. And she was like, no, you want us to do a test? And I was like, yeah, we tried it. She came back to the table, you know, stripped. Well, go relax on the couch. You can watch whatever you want. Grab, drink your tea. It has lemon and honey in it. And I put echinacea, my poor baby. She's getting married this summer. A teaspoon, okay, so Carrie says a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and half of half of a lemon juice, and six ounces of warm water. Okay, cider vinegar. So if somebody can like screenshot that and maybe send it to me, or Carrie, if you wanna send it to me through my Instagram. Aw, everybody say feel better. Aw, yeah, she just has, um, I guess she has strep throat. So, okay, we're gonna keep that cooking, that looks great. And then let's go over here to, I really want this to boil a little bit more. And I haven't gotten on your, uh, I haven't gotten anything on your stove, just to let you know. My husband and Gideon made eggs this morning and they, um, they one little section and I said, you know, if Haley comes home and sees that, you're in trouble. <laughs> Okay, so we just have to let this boil. And then um, the chicken's almost done too, so I'm gonna add the seasoning, the cream cheese. I'm gonna turn this on low, so as the cream cheese is melting, when it gets melted a little bit more, then I'm gonna add some cream to it. So I think I'm gonna have the cream cheese melt a little bit. And then um, uh, then I'll put the cream and the, the ranch seasoning on it. And then hopefully it'll thicken a little bit, and then we can put that over rice, it'll be good. They're getting, they're gonna be, congratulations. Haley will David be getting married too. <laughs> Haley and David Bell, David uh, Richards will be getting married together, yes. Um, this burner is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven burner. What's really cool about my stove is, I'll show you, is this middle burner. So this actually comes off and we have a griddle that you put on top of it. And this is where Noah makes all of his, um, makes all of his uh, pancakes. So I had planned on doing a stroganoff with homemade egg noodles, but I was so excited to share this with you guys because it kind of popped in my head. And so you'll see this one, I'll, I'll post this one today, and then I'm going to do the barn tour so you guys get to see our chickens, how things work. You'll get to meet all of our pets. And so I'll do a vlog on that. You'll probably see that, let's, what's today, Wednesday. You'll probably see that on Friday, I'm assuming. And, uh, <laughs> But I do make a really good homemade chicken noodle soup. And then my sister, so I used to put the noodles in it and my sister's like, don't put the noodles in it because if they don't get eaten, the next day the noodles keep absorbing liquid and then you have mush. So I make the chicken noodle soup and I make my egg noodles and I keep them separate because maybe some people just want the, the broth or maybe they don't want the noodles or maybe they just want the noodles. And so that way, if, if we have leftovers, which is, you know, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, um, that way we can heat it up again and I can make some more egg noodles and then the soup isn't mushy. And then you can add to it, right? Like I could add more veggies to it. I can add more broth to it. You cracked up our last two shorts. <laughs> I got honey on my hand. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is boiling now. So I'm gonna add, so this is eight cups of broth. I'm gonna actually do seven because I want a little bit more broth than, than rice. So I'm gonna do seven cups. And if I have to add some more liquid, it's not a big deal. I do have like some boxed broth in there. Uh oh, what was that? Four? 
We're going to just do six because I don't know how many I had. If anybody was keeping track, we'll do six to start. Can't talk and cook at the same time. Okay. So this is an instant rice. Um, I really do like jasmine rice, but we ate it all. And then at the Dollar Tree, I actually have to do another Dollar Tree haul because everything I've gotten from there is gone. My kids, I found these packets of jasmine rice that are already cooked. You just put them into the microwave. And what, they steam for what, like a, like a minute? How long did you guys cook them for? Those packets of jasmine rice. Like, Haley's like, what, mom, where did you get these from? I'm like, the Dollar Tree. And so it's a packet, and it's big. Like, if you go back and look at our haul, it's like this big. And you steam it for like a minute, and then they pull it out, and it's done. And I'm thinking, and they're gone. Like, once the kids found them, gone. I did six total. Okay, they said I did six total. Okay. <laughs> Good thing you guys were counting. No, he's a very good sport. And so, so we have a family page and if we make any money, I make sure to um, give my kids money or we go on a trip so they get a cut. And um, there's some, like we're doing a couple of videos and I said, hey guys, I wanna put together these two videos. If you guys want it, cause my kids are all trying so hard to save for like houses and cars and pay the bills. And I said, hey, I'm gonna give you guys 20 bucks if you guys wanna do these two videos. And it's not like super funny videos, it's super cute like introducing our family. They're like, okay. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, he, he's so funny. I said, Hey, if you do this, I'll give you 20 bucks. He's like, okay, <laughs> he's a very good sport, but you know what too? If my kids say no, they say no. Like I don't like, I know you guys hear this from like everybody, right? Like I think every vlogger, family vlogger you've ever seen on here, they all say they don't, you know, force their kids to do stuff. But when we started doing, um, ugh, my nose is itchy. when we started doing, uh, social media, I did force my kids. I would like say, hey, let's do this and I can do this. And, and I admitted it, you know, I got it right. And I think I did a video on it. And my kids were like, some of them were miserable, but I was new to social media and I wasn't like realizing, I was just so excited to be on there, not realizing that some of my kids weren't excited. And so then I had to get that right with my family. Like I, if you guys scroll back, you'll see the video, I talk about it. And so I had to get that right with my family and apologize to them. And so now if my kids want to be on, they can. And I'll ask them to like, Hey, I want to do this, you guys. What do you think? I'll just give you guys 20 bucks. They're like, oh, yeah, cool, you know. And so I don't, like, force them to do anything. And, like, some of the, my kids, you probably haven't even hardly seen them on there. Um, Robert likes to do his nerdy nuts because he makes money off nerdy nuts. I think he gets, like, 10% or something. So he's like, Mom, when are we going to do another nerdy nut video? And I'm like, I don't care, whenever you want. So let's go this way. So anyway, I don't, uh, I don't force my kids. I'll throw ideas at them or they'll, they'll give me ideas. Um, but like some of my kids, you, and they're busy too. Like, you know, my kids, they're working all day. And so, you know, I don't want to, Hey, you worked eight hours. And now that you come in, can I film you? That's just not how it works. So, so I've had to really change a lot of my thinking when it comes to social media, how we present our family. Um, I don't do house tours anymore. I'll show you like a room. Like if we revamp a room, I'll definitely show you a, a revamp a room, but I've just been watching like other commentators, like especially mom and charted where she talks about how you gotta be really careful because if you do a house tour, you're giving people the layout of your house. And I'm like, oh, I never really thought of that. So we don't share a lot. Like we do talk about our adoption story, but we don't share details anymore. We don't share like, per well me, I'm gonna say me because it was all me. And so we just, we're just doing things a little differently and now I'm trying to cook a little differently. And so it, it, it took a while to learn, but I think what's important too is if you're aware of it, like if you're aware of something, then you need to get it right. And so it was very humbling for me to have to apologize to my husband, apologize to my family, and I had to take some stuff down off my, my social media, which was really hard to do, especially ones that they hit, you know, it's hard, and, but it's just not worth it. Like my family's more important. And so I had to just change the way I think. And, and I just had to, honestly, I had to sit down with God and be like, okay, I wanna make sure that we use this platform to do good and to bring happiness and light to others not to make my children miserable or share things that they just aren't happy with, you know? And I've actually had a couple things that the kids weren't even in. And like, you know, cause so TikTok has like little cuts of, of music. You don't know where the music came from. And so you'll do this trend with little cuts of music. And my son, Robert, one of, I don't remember what the, um, what the song was, but Robert's like, mom, like you use this song. I'm like, yeah, he's like, I go, why, what's wrong? He goes, you don't want to use that mom. It's not a good song. And so I went and Googled it and he was right. It wasn't a good song. And so I removed it. I mean, it, 
It's just not that important. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not that, I don't know. It's just not that big of a deal to me. So, I, uh, yeah, the book isn't out yet. So, that's just kind of my thing on, you know, had mentioned Noah being a good sport. That's just kind of my, how I'm doing things now. So, if you don't see kids, you don't see kids. You know, I think, and, and she also, what the mom uncharted, if you guys don't follow her, she's on um, Instagram and she's also on TikTok. She's really the one that kind of opened my eyes to my whole platform. And she said, if, so if, when people look at your page, like, what do they see? Do they see you or is it basically your kids? And if your if your kids, if you removed your kids from your platform, would your platform still be sustainable? And I thought to myself, I don't know. Like, I don't know if people would still watch. And so I kind of like will look at my platform and I'll just kind of scroll through it and see like, hey, am I seeing lots of Izzy or am I seeing lots of Haley or am I seeing lots of, you know, Noah or am I seeing lots of me? And so I feel like when I look at my page, I see lots of me. <laughs> And so hopefully you guys like me enough to watch if it's just basically me. <laughs> but I do love my family and, and right now my kids are all like into it. Like they actually are into it. Well, Izzy hasn't really done much um, because she's just so busy. Like she comes home and she right away is working with horses and she's right away doing school. And so in the summer I tend to have more of my family on because we do a lot of more family things. And I don't mind putting us on like as a family. Like, okay, going back this way now. Like, you know, as a family together and sharing some of our traditions and stuff. Like, you know, I don't mind that. But, you know, like right now we got a couple things we're going to be sharing with you guys um, that we haven't actually done in a while. So, okay, so this is Minute Rice. So I got it boiled. And so it boiled for five minutes. So now I just took, I took the burner off, turned the burner off, put the lid on. And here's like my big old. So I am preparing to make sure if anything happens, my family's fed. So here's my rice. And this is small compared to my flour and my sugar. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the chippa chicken. I know I said that last time too. That was from Father of the Bride. The chippa chicken, okay. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Don't get seasick on me. Okay, so this looks like it's pretty much done. That's why I cut the chicken thing on my glasses. Ah. I feel like I'm walking in from a snowstorm. Wait till you guys see the video of my hair. I'm going to be posting it on YouTube today. <laughs> it's so funny. I've watched it lots and laughed at myself. My husband's like, are you laughing at yourself? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I, I, I'd expect that. He says, <laughs> he knows me all too well. He still wants me to follow him around. So maybe when I go to that ag expo, we'll do like a little vlog there too. All right. So I have two blocks of cream cheese that I'm going to add to this. And I'm gonna get this melted before I add the cream. And I think for the cream, I'm just gonna do like maybe a couple cups because I want it to be thick. You know, I don't want it to be like super watery, so I don't wanna add too much liquid. So if, I mean, if, yeah, I guess you could probably cut the, the cream cheese into sections if you want. That might be easier. So when you, before you put it in, cut it into like fours. But it seems to be melting pretty fast. What's really nice about cast iron is, um, once it gets cooking, the pan stays nice and hot. And so even if you turn the burner down or even if you take it off the burner, it will still be cooking. So, okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay. And yes, I'm gonna keep all the liquid in because it's, it's butter. It's a nice liquid. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir in this cream cheese and then we're gonna add a little bit of, uh, and as it cooks too, like if you have it simmering, you might think, oh my goodness, too much liquid, but it will like cook out, it'll evaporate. Like all the steam is the, is the moisture going into the air and it will evaporate. And so then you'll have not a lot of stuff, not, not a lot of in there. So, okay, so we're just gonna stir this in. Yeah, I think this worked out. Okay, I was trying, so I, I sometimes I'm like, okay, Heather, how are you gonna do this? Just like with the, the beef wellington that I made, I should have cooked the carrots ahead of time, then kept the meat raw. And I also have a recipe I'm gonna share with you. So when my mother-in-law, um, when all of us, when our kids were little, she made lots of cookies, lots of cookies. I think she's probably beat, well, I don't know if she's beat me. I do make a lot of cookies too, but she made these mashed potato cookies. And I, met, I called her this morning, I said, hey, I said, I need that recipe for the mashed potato cookies. She's like, mashed potato cookies? She goes, well, I make mashed potato truffles. I said, I know you make mashed potato truffles, but these are, were your chocolate cookies. She goes, well, give me a second. Let me look it up and I'll, I'll find them. So she found it and she um, texted them to me. 
And she goes, I'm gonna make them again today and I'll let you know if, if I have to like make any adjustments. So I'm gonna be um, making mashed potato chocolate chip cookies. I remember them, they were super yummy, they're nice and fluffy. And so I think she said she's either gonna drizzle like a, a ganache on them or she's going to like put chips, I don't know what she said, but ooh, this is looking good. Uh, wasn't, wasn't that hilarious, Carrie? Oh my goodness, it was so funny. I had to try it and I didn't touch it when I came in. I actually shared pictures on my Facebook page and my hair looked nice and it felt good. So I think that rinsing your hair or getting it cold, like after you take a shower, I think rinsing your hair in cold water, it really was refreshing. Like my hair felt, my head felt cool. Um, what is that? Oh, that's a pepper. My, um, my scalp felt really nice. My hair was so soft. So I think that there's something to making sure when you wash your hair to rinse it in cold water. Okay, this looks great. This looks exactly like I want it to look. All right, and that didn't take long either. I love cream cheese so much. Okay, so it's gonna be like kind of a playoff of a stroganoff, just with different kinds of, uh, I could do a chick, I could say, a, I could say a, a chicken stroganoff, but I'm doing it over rice though. And I think stroganoff means, what does stroganoff mean? Is it just the noodle or does it mean mushroom sauce something? I could add mushroom, mushrooms to this, this would've been good. My Brendan's not a mushroom guy though. Okay, so we got all that done. So now we're gonna add in cream. So I'm gonna say two cups of cream. this come off there we go this is actually a local place in town that does uh, they sell milk so let's say two cups I'm guesstimating and then this was four tablespoons of the ranch um, dry mix and then we're gonna put this over rice we'll check the rice in a second okay we're just gonna stir this in so this the um, the seasoning will probably help thicken it. If you find that it's just a little too watery, um, you can add a little bit of flour if you want, but I think it's gonna be fine once it cooks down and sets because it will thicken whenever things cool off. You know, cause when they're hot, they are kind of more watery. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. My kids are gonna come home from school and be like, what, dinner's already ready? All right, my nose is so itchy today. Somebody must be thinking about me talking about me. Hopefully it's all good things. Okay. Yeah, my nose is... You guys are like, man, she's... Sorry, sorry. Ever since I ate those carrots... Not carrots. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Ever since I cut those onions... Cut those onions and ate those carrots does not match, does it? Ever since I cut those onions, my nose has been running. Okay, this looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is how I envisioned it. Yes, and so they can eat it like this because I put a lot of chicken in it. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that looks, you guys. So I love liquid aminos. I use liquid aminos. I was actually gonna do it here with the chicken, but I didn't want the soy taste to it. Okay, and if you guys need me to show you that um, the ranch dry mix again, I can. I am hoping, so I am hoping I'm gonna actually ask our publisher. I've had a couple people ask me if it'll be available in other countries. And I'm assuming that if you can go, like if you can go on Amazon, I'm assuming it will. So I'm gonna find out for you because I know I have a lot of people that follow me from other countries. Um, a lot of people from England, a lot of people from Canada, a lot of people from Australia. Okay, that looks so beautiful. I'm gonna turn this way, way down. Oh my God. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off. All right, let's check out. Oh my goodness, that looks so great, you guys. We're gonna have to plate it up. Don't forget to smash the like button. Yes, please. Okay, rice. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused with my spoons now. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I used all those spices. It's amazing. So if you make a chicken dish and you make your own broth, you can freeze it and then just use it or you stick it in the fridge or something. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Nice, hey? Okay, we're gonna plate it up together. All right, here we go. Let me get a glass. I love these plates. These are those Fiesta Ware. So um, I got these dishes. This is so funny. So I had been antiquing a lot with um, 
a friend of mine and then my daughters. And uh, I went to one of the antique stores and they had Fiesta wear as an antique. And I'm like, oh my goodness, they had more Fiesta wear. And it was like a, a butter dish and some like serving platters. They wanted $50 for the butter dish. And I'm thinking, is Fiesta wear considered antique? I, how long do you think I've had these dishes, Haley? Maybe 10 years? Not even 10 years. Yeah. Is that an antique? Fiesta wear is an antique? I don't think so. Let's eat. <laughs> Kenny's like, let's eat. Stop talking at her. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to try. Ooh, it's hot. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of rice. I can't lose weight for a wedding getting that much rice, can I? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. It's so funny because my son Gideon, he works out. And his, his thought, his concept, his thinking of how to eat is different. He's like, Mom, if you lift and do all this stuff, you can eat as much carbs as you want. And I go, honey, not at 50. You can. You should build right up and you should be eating all day long carbs. And I said, not at 50. He goes, no, Mom. I said, listen, you're 19. A 19-year-old metabolism and a 52-year-old metabolism is way different. I can't do that. You can if you work out. I can't do that. Okay, here we go. You know what would be good with this too? Is maybe, no, I was going to add Parmesan to the top, but I don't want to make it like that. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's a little hot. See how it thickened right away? Okay, here we go. I love doing these cooking things with you guys. Okay. Here we go, are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Okay. Oh yeah, there is there is lots of snow outside here. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's so hot. Okay. It's really hot. Wow, this is really good. Holy moly. So I, I should have cooked the chicken a little bit more. Or not the chicken, the, um, I should have cooked the bacon a little bit more. It need to be a little bit more crispier, but ooh, it's got a good flavor. Here, I got chicken. Oh, so hot. Wow. So my peppers, um, they cook down a little bit more. So here's my, it's super yummy, like amazing. So my suggestions are maybe cook the bacon and the onions first. Then when your bacon gets a, starts to get a little crispier, cause you don't want it super crisp because you're gonna continue making the meal. So my tips for this is the flavor is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So start by doing your bacon and your onions, just your bacon and your onions. And then once the onions are, you don't want your onions completely done because you have to still keep cooking it because peppers will cook faster than onions. So do your bacon and your onions wait and let, or even maybe start your bacon ahead of time. Once it starts to really like do halfway through the cooking process, add your onions, let that cook for another five minutes. So your bacon's almost done then slice your peppers and add it. I would make the peppers thin, thicker because my peppers kind of like, they're super yummy, but look it, they cook down to nothing. So you're gonna wanna do your peppers a little thicker, but still do them long ways. Add that after the onions and the bacon is almost done. And so get your peppers in there, your spices, let it cook for a couple minutes. And then um, you can even prep your chicken earlier. Like I wanna do it with you guys, but you could prep all this earlier. So. Cut your onions, cut your bacon, cut your peppers, cut your chicken, have it all done, ready to go. So then you can do those steps. So bacon, onions, or bacon, couple minutes, onions. Cook for five minutes, you see the onions are starting to go. Peppers, cook for five minutes, the peppers will go fast. Cooking, ready to go, add the chicken, your spices, and then serve it over the rice. But it's, it's super yummy, super yummy. Um, I can taste the white pepper, so if you don't like a little touch, like a little, like, spice to it, instead of doing one tablespoon of white pepper, I would go down to one half tablespoon of white pepper. It has a little bit of a kick. 
But for me, I don't think it's bad. Me and Haley like spice, half our family likes spice. So it just has a little bit of kick to it because there's nothing spicy in here except the white pepper. So those are my tips. Um, have you thought about adopting, have you thought of adopting a Mexican Heather? I don't know what that means. <laughs> are you asking me a question? I don't know. If, are you, or is there a person that, I don't understand that question. I must, might be reading it right, reading it wrong. But anyway, you guys, this is absolutely amazing. Um, it turned out really good. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get this posted so you guys can have this recipe. It's super good. It's super good. So you've heard the tips. I can actually put them in there. I'll put, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll give it everything to you. Hi, Sandy. I will um, give you the recipe, give you my tips below on how to cook it. And then, um, so I, I don't want to serve it over egg noodles because I'm going to be making a beef stroganoff soon with the egg noodles. But you can do that. It would be really good. I really like it with the rice. I like that I cook the rice into the chicken broth. So I'll even give you the home chicken broth recipe um, because you don't want to cook your chicken ahead of time because then it'll be too tough. So, um, so yeah, nice. Okay. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I'm making this, I can either say chick, chicken stroganoff or a chicken bacon and ranch, chicken bacon ranch melody served over rice. So you guys, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Thank you for following our page and subscribing and liking. Thank you for helping us hit 300,000. And so look forward to that farm tour where I'm going to introduce you to, oh, thank you so much. I'm going to introduce you to all the animals. And then let's plan on Tuesday. Let's plan on doing the beef stroganoff and we're going to make homemade egg noodles. I think I'm just going to do all my cooking live now. I'm not even going to bother putting videos together. Um, AZ is going to be making her Valentine mix. We always make that every holiday. Um, but yeah, we got lots of things already now for February, March. We got lots of fun trips planned. But thank you so much, you guys. Um, have a wonderful day and stay warm and have a good weekend.